Honey, my spirit guides told me many moons ago that only pretty people wouldn't choose to subscribe to me, and so far, I haven't been wrong. Howdy, girl. Hello, my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your week of tarot messages this week, Virgo. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the cards below, or cards below, comments below, uh, Virgo, which cards resonate with you and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you guys is through the comments, Virgo. As well as I would like to ask if you enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Virgo, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot. Now I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot channel in that way. And remember, before we get into your reading today, uh, Virgo, I'm not here to make a choice in your life. I'm not here to make a decision in your life. I believe tarot cards are here just to give you some food for thought, a perspective to consider, but never making the choice in your life, right? Use your intuition. Um, <clears throat> so uh, now I feel like we kind of got over everything now. I feel like I said everything that I needed to say. Um, so yeah, Virgo, with all that being said, make sure you use your intuition. I don't know why it feels so weird that I feel like I said everything so quickly, but I guess now we can start your uh, tarot reading this week, <laughs> Virgo. I pulled some cards for you just so I could get an idea of where it is you guys are currently at in this current time period. So writing something down, don't mind me, Virgo. We have the Ego card, Archangel Jophiel, number 15. Um, this is the brain fart for a moment. The Ego card, Archangel Jophiel, is the Archangel that is open to working with you this week. If you so choose, Virgo, you know, depending on your practices, whatever it is you do, it's not my business. I just hear, I'm here to relay some messages, give you some options. Number 15 equals to 6 in numerology, so write that down for numerology. Um, we have the Six of Earth for you, or the Six of Pentacles, Virgo. The Four of Water, yeah, Four of Water, or the Four of Cups in normal tarot, as well as the Four of Earth coming in for you. Two fours. If four keeps coming up a bunch, I'll ask you, Virgo, as well, to write down the number four. But um, yeah, judging off of this, Virgo, you guys are like... <sighs> You're, this is going to be not for the faint of heart, Virgo. This is like a reading where if you like if you don't want your feelings hurt or like you have sensitive feelings, this isn't going to be the reading for you, honestly, because this is for Virgo that spirits bringing forth messages that are identifying a block in what's going on with Virgo, and it's showing to me that Virgo is really in their head, right? So let me show you, let me break these cards down in a moment. We'll put these over here. So we'll start with this ego card for you, Virgo. This card says a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on the material things and negative or fear-based thoughts. So with this card, Virgo, this is a situation of where this could be a habit, this could be a person, this could be anything. This is like the devil, right? This is, I'm pretty sure, the devil in normal tarot. So there is some type of situation. I'm seeing this personally, Virgo, as where it's like you're being in your head, right? We'll call this like an insecurity, right? Let's say uh, you started taking driving lessons, right? Or you started taking lessons in something when, from in the past and you ended up failing. You fell flat on your face. <clears throat> Excuse me in the past when you did that at some point Virgo and it's because of this this is somehow like I say somehow this has instilled like some deep rooted like fear in you of where it's just like any time now in the future and, and even in the present anything that you you're presented with a new opportunity where you step up to the plate and you know anything similar like driving again or what have you you're resistant to it because you're just like you go back to that time and you're just like oh well there's no point in me trying to drive anymore there's no point in me doing any type of extracurricular activities or anything artistic uh, because i tried to before and it just didn't work out so then that's like your reasoning right and so this is where spirit really hones in on uh, kind of chastising you <laughs> to be honest, uh, Virgo, because now this is what's holding you back. I, f I see this as 
that's the thing that's the thing to focus on and be like all right this is what you need to be working on for trying to improve yourself and trying to get things going because the clarifiers i pulled for you are the seven of wands the king of cups as well as the eight of wands so with these three cards this is where it's like yeah it's this is like a challenge being presented to you virgo you're being challenged and being like all right is virgo going to pass this situation up to the side again due to insecurities you know even though virgo is looking over there at that food and being like oh yeah that food sounds really good right now if we offer this food to the virgo is virgo going to deny that food and say oh no thank you i'm not actually hungry oh no thank you i don't like that kind of food even though it's actually your favorite right are you going to say it's like oh don't bother picking me because i'm not good enough right i really do see this card um, in this sense, Virgo, where it's like it's you um, limiting yourself in some way because you're not seeing like how powerful, how wonderful you personally are, Virgo. And so, yeah, this is here with the King of Cups, what it is you need to get a good, strong sense or hold of, right? Um, I just can't help but feel like, yeah, it's just like this. I don't know if you just have like these anxious thoughts, Virgo, of where it's just like everyone, this definitely is, could be like a situation of like imposter syndrome, honestly, Virgo, where it's just like you feel like you're waiting, you feel like the if you say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing, someone's going to see you as like, see you as the fraud that you think you are and think real and like laugh or whatever. It's weird. So it's like you really hold yourself back in this way. And then... Because of you holding yourself back, we have this Four of Water energy, or the Four of Cups energy. This card says missing an opportunity, discontentment or boredom, and opening your eyes to the possibilities. So Virgo, with this, this is, I mean, the card itself quite literally says missing an opportunity, right? I really do feel like for you, there's something presented to you in your path because it's speaking as if it's pretty like around you and like you're making like the conscious effort of like not fully doing it or committing to it virgo i'm seeing this as like you having the opportunity to really do something and you passing it by being like oh no thank you like oh, i'm not there's no point in me trying or something like that you get what i'm saying virgo so the cards i have for you are the chariot is the chariot with the eight of pent no not eight seven of pentacles with the ace of swords as well as the ten of pentacles so <laughs> yeah this is what this is the opportunity that you're missing virgo this is what it is that you're missing just because you are doubting yourself just because you're uh too in your head just because your insecurities are there just because of like what's happened in the past is holding you back from what you will allow yourself to now like allow to come through now um really right the this definitely is leaning calling to my virgos when it comes to like a creative pursuit right where it's like they would have to step up to the task like step up to the plate and you know maybe have a lot of eyes be focused on them right because you do have cards that dictate to where it seems like a lot of eyes are looking at you virgo um so it seems to be it could be like a, a creative project for you that you really have like have in your head about wanting to try out right seven of pentacles this is something that you have dabbled in f before definitely um cherry card ten of pentacles this could be a very promising venture these seeds that you have started initially growing right that you initially have started uh tapping into virgo um these seeds really are can take you places they can really grow into something bountiful and pretty quickly too can i say just because of this chariot card so virgo it's one of those things now where it's like you're told this narrative you're told these cards right what are you going to do to now allow yourself to step up to the plate right with this ace of swords what is it going to take for virgo to believe in themselves essentially what is it going to take for virgo to finally just acknowledge their strong suits right um, because there's something that you're resisting of investing your energies into, I feel like actively, because of this Four of Pentacles, or this Four of Earth. This card says being too frivolous or too cautious with money, good business decisions, or giving to those less fortunate. So normally in this setup, 
uh, Virgo, this is a situation where it's like where you want to invest your four pentacles, where you want to invest your energy into. You don't want to make the wrong choice with something. And seemingly, by you being so scared about making the wrong choice with something, you end up making the wrong choice because you don't, because the only wrong choice to be had would be you not making a decision in the first place. So the clarifiers we have coming in for this is the Knight of Swords with the Six of Cups, Two of Swords, Page of Wands, and then the Five of Cups. Oh, Virgo. I can't help but feel... Yeah, you've been at this crossroads for a while, Virgo. You've been at this crossroads for a while, and I feel like this has been like a repetitive thing that's presented itself to you, of where you could really start anew with it. You could have a new, fresh start, or, you know, you. the last time you took that driving test, you may have failed, but you've had the opportunity to take that driving test again and pass it, but you've passed up on the opportunity to. It's kind of like, since it didn't work out that last time for some reason, you've kind of like signatured this as like your story for the rest of the time almost and so yeah virgo it's like you're by being so overtly cautious with your four of pentacles and like making almost obsessing over doing the right move and having everything just be so perfect in such a detailed way you end up being stuck at this crossroads right and not going forward and so, yeah, you just end up putting yourself at this crossroads when you could really go forward with something. The Knight of Wands, or the Knight of Swords is a card of really honing in, again, on creative energies and the, of matters of the head, mind, I guess. Head, mind, tomato, tomato. And I just feel like you need to just allow yourself, Virgo, to express and really just do things without there being like a set standard for how you expect things to turn out. Does that make sense? Like, yeah, like what's wrong with like trying out this new cooking recipe, right? It may not be the best this first time, but why would you expect it to be the best the first time when it's your first time trying out that recipe? Does that make sense, Virgo? And so then you have the Six of Earth or the Six of Pentacles. This is what brings everything into balance, right? This card says gift of money, time or effort, new career opportunities, and receiving a loan or paying off a debt. So yeah, I feel like this is what uh, completes things for you. I feel like this is what brings things into balance for you. So really, uh, Virgo, if, if, I'm going to be blunt here. I don't really see you continue going forward until like you address this thing because I feel like that fork in the, in the road that spirit implies with that two of swords has been staring at you in the face for quite some time now. And so um, at some point you kind of have to work through your fear. The devil card coming in here, honey. Work through this devil. Work through that ego card that we started out with, right? Work through that imposter syndrome. The imposter syndrome is really coming in strong for what I'm thinking. So maybe that's probably what it is a lot of you Virgos are going through is just some heavy imposter syndrome. Because of this, that's what's keeping these scales heavily weighed down on this side, right? There's not a balance to this. And then once you do address that imposter syndrome, then you have the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So yeah, you are definitely having some insecurity in terms of like your passions and in terms of like how you want to go forward and how you've been moving forward. You know, this is just the overall just like in your head, like you want to do it, but then at the same time, you're insecure about that same thing and in, in some aspect. So it's weird and interesting at the same time for this. Um, so yeah, Virgo, let me know what this devil is in your life though, for sure, because this is definitely, it's definitely what is, um, impeding you in, up, like, heavily for it to come in so strongly and just especially in the fashion that, that we had for that general message for you. So now, Virgo, let's get into those that are interested in hearing about, uh, their social life, their love life, potentially, right? Virgo, I'm going to be pulling some cards on that. And then afterwards, we'll be getting into some cards for your career as well and financial situations. So Virgo, for love, we have the Eight of Pentacles for you with the Fool card, as well as the Five of Cups. Um, in this situation here, you kind of reflects the reading, the general messages in a way, 
Virgo because this is a sense where Five of Cups, it's like something happened in the past, like crying over the spilled milk, right? Those cups may have fallen at one point and spilled over, but um, that's not the end of the story, right? Um, the Eight of Pentacles comes in as a situation of learning from that and really allowing it to just elevate you rather than sinking and putting so much energy into what has happened, right? I feel like that's what Spirit's really trying to hone in on this message of being like, you're putting too much energy into some type of past thing where there's like this X energy, right? And someone trying to come back. Something that knocked over these cuts, right? Whether it's from last week or last year, something that you're putting a lot of energy into, it's happened, it's happened. Look around, look to the side of you, right? And you'll see those two other cups being filled. Eight of Pentacles comes in is where it's just like, you're not going to repeat the same cycles. You're not going to look like the fool, even though you get the fool card coming in. You're not going to look like the fool for doing this because it's like, it's not going to be the same thing. Like you don't, um, you don't know the full story, essentially, uh, Virgo. And so it's just like, give. it's really giving such an implication of giving something a chance. So let me know how that resonates, Virgo. We're going to now get into your career now see what's going on for your career and financial situation what cards do we want to pull for this though we're going to use this deck actually so what is going on for my virgos and their career and financial situation good news is on its way and i feel like right now virgo there's some heaviness attached to your career and financial because we have the nine of swords coming in with the King of Swords and the Queen of Wands. So um, good news on the way for financial situations, but you're still probably in this current state, Virgo, of just anxiety of, you know, maybe not wor worrying about how you're going to pay that next bill, um, right? I do see you kind of like in this place of sleepless nights over in regards to this and um, the good positive message behind this, though, uh, Virgo, is what I say is like, yeah, you're in this state, but the positive message that I see for this is the King of Swords and the Queen of Wands, because the King of Wands, Swords comes in of where it's just like a lot more stable, feeling very sure of yourself, and the Queen of Wands comes in as where it's just like feeling kind of like letting yourself go, right? And so there does definitely seem to be, Tara speaking of a situation really coming to light pretty soon that's going to release that mental baggage on you and also be something that in a positive way challenges you and really like sparks some type of inspiration for you, for your future. So really positive cards overall for all of your messages. Uh, Virgo. So if you enjoy this tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonated with you and how they did. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Virgo, if you enjoyed this reading. And also, I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs, Virgo, so if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, uh, send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. Until next time though, Virgo, I love you so much.